Hey guys, Danny Jugan, creator of Access Football. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, the instructions for how to mod the rosters in Access Football. Um, so the first thing you want to want to do is um, find the mods folder. Um, so if you go into the game in Steam, you right click on it and go to properties, and then go to local files, and browse local files. This will pull up where all of the game files are stored on your computer and you're going to want to find the mods folder. And uh, before we start, I give this kind of a disclaimer before all of the mod instructional videos. Um, if you're going to do mods, I strongly suggest that you create a backup of what you mod uh, that's not stored in the same directory as this. If you download an update to the game, if there's some bugs that uh, get fixed or some features that get added and you download an updated version, it will override whatever you have done in terms of mods. So when you download an update, you want to be able to just drag your old mods back in. Uh, so make sure you back them up. Um, Alright, so if we're going to mod the rosters, you're going to go inside of this mods folder and the rosters mods is located inside of the team mods folder. Okay, so we'll click on team mods and then this gives you all of the teams in the game. Um, at the bottom here you have template files uh, for all of the things that uh, you can modify for each of the teams. Uh, and So I'm going to go ahead and open up all team rosters. This is an Excel file um, that contains all of the player ratings, player names, all that stuff for all of the teams in the game. So I'm going to open this up and I'm also going to um, open up one of these team folders. Let's just uh, deal with Arizona. Um, each of the teams in the game have this same set of files. Notice there's a roster text file in Arizona. There's a roster text file for Atlanta. There's a roster text file for Baltimore and so on. That's what we're going to be looking at today. Now the first thing that I want to point out, this is um, a point of confusion for a lot of people when they're dealing with roster mods. The Excel file and the contents of the Excel file do not get read into the game. So whatever you have here doesn't matter. The reason the Excel file exists is to consolidate all of the rosters into one file and to make it easier for you to make mods. Anything that you change here need to be transferred to the individual team roster files here. You can simply copy and paste. Uh, the formatting is already set up for you. Um, but that's why the Excel file exists. All right, so if we take a look at Arizona, we see that there are 53 players on the team. Uh, the index goes from 0 to 52, so that gives us a total of 53. And we see all of the stats contained... Uh, in a single file uh, for all of the players in the team. If you did roster mods in a previous version of Access Football, uh, you know that it used to be separated into two. Um, we've condensed it uh, into one to make it easier to mod. Um, but I want to go through a couple formatting things that you guys will need to know uh, if you want to mod successfully. All right, so the first thing is at the at the time of this recording, I'll say that, at the time of this recording, 53-man um, rosters are implemented, but I haven't done the depth chart manager so that you can sub out people. So everyone on the list gets loaded into the game, but you don't yet have the ability to swap out starters. Okay, so the order that you put the people matters. Okay, specifically when we're looking at the first 30 players okay so anything you put after uh, index 29 is not going to be a playable person yet okay so the order that you put them also matters okay so whoever's at index 0 is going to be your starting quarterback okay whoever's at index 4 is your starting running back um, index 5 is the other running back when you have a two running back set like a split back formation or I formation or goal line formation. Um, these are your five wide receivers. So um, this is your X receiver, uh, the guy who lines up on the line. Uh, this is your Z receiver. This is the guy who lines up off the line on the tight end side. Uh, the third receiver is your slot receiver. And then uh, the fourth and fifth receiver come in when you have trips or a spread formation. 
Um, only tight end. These are your five offensive linemen. These are your four defensive linemen. Let's cut it come next. Um, if you're in a 3-4, only the first three come in. If you're in a 4-3 or other four down linemen formations, all four of them will come in. Um, same situation with linebackers. If you're in a 4-3, only three linebackers come in. If you're in a 4-4 or 3-4, all four of these guys will come in. Uh, defensive backs are set up the same way. The first two are corners, then the next two are safeties, and then this is the, f the fifth back is your nickel back, and the sixth back is your dime back, and then you have your kicker and your punter. Okay, the order has to be as such. Okay, so even when we get into uh, the ability to swap in players, um, it's important that you keep the first 30 guys in the same order. Okay, because when you're playing against uh, the computer or something, theirs is going to need to get read in, in the same way. Now, the way I'll have it set up for you to sub is you'll be able to select a formation. Uh, so let's say you want to mess with the players in your shotgun formation. You'll select your shotgun formation, and then it'll show you all of the players and all of the positions for your shotgun formation. You'll be able to select each individual position, and then once you do that, it'll pull up all of the other players in your roster that have that same position. So you could swap out somebody for that. Um, that is the uh, plan, and we hope to get that in soon. Um, but let me repeat this one more time. The first 30 players matters in terms of the order, so index 0 to 29. After that, the order does not matter. Okay, so you can have, in, in this particular example, they are in the same order in terms of quarterback, running back, receiver, just like it is up here, but it won't matter down here. Okay, I'm going to loop through these and uh, organize them based off of their position. Okay, but the, the first 30 do matter. So uh, you can see across the top, um, skin goes from 1 to 5, and we've got a color here indicating um, if we change this to 4, you see it, it changes there. Uh, so we can, it's kind of a visual identifier. Numbers um, work the same way. If you have duplicate numbers, uh, it's going to cause some issues. So as a general rule, if you make mods and then you go into the game and things don't work right, like the players aren't moving um, or the game's not loading or something like that, you've got an issue with your roster mod. So um, you can always at any point in time just back these up, re-download the game if you go into Steam um, and just go delete local game content. That'll uninstall the game. You can re-download it and it'll um, get you the default rosters, which um, kind of reset everything for you. But you can go across the top and see the number, height, weight, position, speed. Everything's on a scale from um, 0 to 99 is the highest. If you try to put a number higher than 100, it'll just get cut off inside of the game. So I've got um, built-in um, input validation so that you don't go too high or too low in case of a typo or something like that. Um, this is tackle breaking, fumble. The higher the chance of fumble, the, excuse me, the higher the number that you have, the less likely you are to fumble. So a player that has a 99 and a fumble is not going to fumble very often. Um, same thing with catch. The higher the number, the more likely you are to catch. This is blocking, um, throw accuracy, kick power, kick accuracy, block breaking, um, a chance to break out of a block. This is a defensive stat. Um, it's the counterpart to blocking. Tackle, uh, throw power, fitness. Um, fitness is going to come into play more a little bit later once we add fatigue. It doesn't make any sense to add fatigue until we can swap out players. Um, but that is something that we are planning on doing. Awareness, agility, coverage, hit power, and endurance. Endurance and fitness kind of uh, go hand in hand. Um, eventually when we add... Uh, injuries, those two will come into play as well. If you are trying to um, use a player that doesn't have very good endurance and they're tired and maybe their fitness is lower, the likelihood that they get injured is going to increase. Okay, so let's say we've changed a bunch of values and we want to go ahead and put them in the game. You simply select everything, so you can hit Control A and then copy, open up your rosters folder, click here, you can hit Control A again and delete, and then paste your new things in. Okay, and save the file, close it out, and you're good to go. And it'll automatically load it in, 
and that's how you modify the rosters. So um, two quick things before we wrap up here. Uh, the first is your player ratings for the team are actually at the bottom. Okay, the overall, the offense, the defense, and the special teams, these are actually here. So if you want to change the ratings that show in the game when you're selecting a team, this is where you do that. Um, it's Atlanta's, Baltimore's, all of them are shown down here. Um, so if you want to modify those, simply do that, and you can see they get copied and pasted down here as well. Okay, and the last thing I want to uh, encourage you guys to do is to share your mods. So if you... Um, make some cool mods, maybe they are like fictional players or something that's kind of funny or whatever, I encourage you to share them. So if you go to the mods section um, from the title screen, there's a link to our forums where you can upload mods that you have done. You can also download mods from others. Um, just join in the community and, and share with the mods. All right, that'll do us for us today. Uh, make sure you check out the other instructional videos for modding, um, and thanks for your support of Axis Football.